Hello, konnichiwa, and welcome back to my Forex educational video. My name is Kei, like a little K, and I'm a pro trader as well as a Forex mentor based here in Tokyo, Japan. In this video, part 3, I'll be talking about how to check charts in bigger time frame along with smaller time frame charts and find an edge on the market by looking at the moving average. Multiple time frame analysis is one of my favorite ways to analyze charts because if you master the way to look charts this way, it actually gives you a concrete idea on which direction to trade. So I will explain how you can do this by using moving average in this video. So if you like this video, please press the good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you will get notified every time I upload the videos every week. Alright, so let's get started right now. Alright, first of all, looking at a different time frames on the same pair is essential if you want to be a consistent winning trader because that way you know which direction to trade for better risk to reward ratio or multiple and profit factors on your trades. In contrast, if you only look at a chart in one time frame, the chance of getting such a better result is going to be lower. For example, Let's say you are looking at a 5 minute chart and you see it's higher low, higher high, a bull trend. So you are waiting for the next pushback to place a buy based on the 5 minute chart, expecting the market to keep extending upwards. However, what if, right? What if one hour shows a downtrend like this? And within the downtrend of one hour time frame, you are only looking at this part in 5 minute chart. In that case, what's gonna happen is, even if you think it's a buy on this minor 5 minute chart, sooner or later it might be resisted by the trend line of 1 hour time frame, and the price may keep going down from there eventually. So to avoid such a trade, it's always better to look at the bigger time frame charts and knowing the major trend direction in that bigger time frame, and wait until the trend reversed in 5 minute chart so that you get better trading results over time. And moving average is going to be a great help when it comes to identifying the market trend, especially by synchronizing multiple time frames. You will have a clear idea of the trend direction than just looking at one single time frame with the moving average indicator. So here's a procedure how you can do this. First of all, look at the direction of the moving average in bigger time frame. If you want to trade uh, based on like 5 minute chart, then check on the daily chart first and see which direction the moving average is pointing in that daily. And if it's pointing upwards, that means it's bullish on daily. Then look at the lower time frame chart like 1 hour chart and check the market direction also. Check the direction of the moving average on that time frame. And if you find it happens to be pointing up also, then you know both daily and one hour chart shows it's bullish. Then finally, look at the 5 minute chart. And let's say you find that MA is pointing down in this case. Then what will we do? If the moving average in 5 minute chart pointing downwards, while the daily and one hour shows upwards, what will you do? Would you play sell? No, right? Like I said, you have to follow the major trend. So if daily and one hour shows bullish, meaning if the moving average in daily chart and one hour chart pointing upwards, then you wait, right? You wait until the moving average on five minute chart also pointing upwards. But you don't place a buy yet. Just because moving average in 5 minute chart also pointing upwards, that doesn't always mean it's a great trading edge. You better wait until you see the market marks higher low, higher high, and confirm a pushback. And after confirming these in 5 minute chart, then you finally think about place a buy because that can be a great trading edge on that market. Or you wait until the price is going to be supported by the moving average, then you can think of place buy there. 
In contrast, if daily and 4 hour and 1 hour shows is bearish, then wait until the MA shows downwards on the market in lower time frames like 50 minute chart or 5 minute chart. Then wait for the price action to be lower high, lower low, and then look for somewhere you can place a sell. So how about this? How about when the moving average in bigger time frame like daily is horizontal, meaning when the bigger time frame is in the range, then what will we do? In that case, all you can do is just wait, right? Just wait until the moving average in bigger time frame points upwards or downwards. Otherwise, you cannot have a great trade chance. Ichimoku Kinko Hyo too, like when the Kumo is horizontal and all the other lines are interacting with the candles in a bigger time frame, then it's not really a great trade timing because as you wait, sooner or later the market will move to either direction. And when it does, that's exactly when you find the edge to place positions and follow the major trend direction. So again, look for a bullish market in lower time frame while it's bullish in bigger time frame also and vice versa. Make sure they are synchronizing with each other, you know, don't be like not seeing the wood for the trees. Always make sure to see it in the bigger picture first, then break it down because the lower time frames are basically dominated by the bigger time frames and that's why you shouldn't go backwards when analyzing charts. And also, it's often said that the trader's job is to wait, and I totally agree, but you cannot just wait for luck to come from somewhere from heaven, you know? You cannot wait for that. What you should wait in day-to-day -day trading is you have to wait until the market becomes bullish while the bigger time frame is also on bullish. Otherwise, you cannot have a reason to take trades. And until you have a reason to place buy or sell, I mean, until you see the clear direction on the market in both big and small time frames, you just need to wait for the trade chance. In Japan, we say rewards come to those who wait. And usually we say this when after you've done the best things you can possibly do, there's nothing more we do, you know? You just wait for the reward, things like that. So in forex trading too, you wait, right? You wait until the market direction to be synchronized in bigger and smaller time frames, right? Then you find a true edge on the market by looking at the lines and price actions at that time that can give you a big reward. All right, let me give you an example from a real chart. This is a pound dollar in daily, one hour and five minute time frame. And if you look at the daily first, Look at the momentum right here. This blue line is EMA, exponential moving average in 75 period. And if you look at the momentum here in daily, the market broke the recent high here, go across the 75 EMA, and you can see it's on the bull trend. So when I see the market like this, I only think about buying on the market, never think of selling it, whatever lower time frames I look at from now, okay? So you know that the primary direction is up and bullish from this daily chart on this day. Then next, look at the one hour chart. And as you can see here, it's also been beautifully bullish, right? The price has been higher low, higher high, and it's been up above the blue 75 EMA. So this is going to be another confirmation that the market is on bull trend and thus I only look for a chance to buy. And this is going to be the second confirmation. Like if the 75 EMA in one hour shows horizontal, then I wait, right? I wait until the chart becomes like this bullish so that it points the same direction as daily. All right, then let's break it down and look at the five minute chart. Previously, the market has been in a range for a couple of hours here on the left and you were waiting for the buy chance. Then as you keep on watching the market, it just spiked up here, breaking the recent high on this 5 minute chart upwards. And also if you look at the 3 MAs, the blue one is 75, the red one is 200 and the yellow line is 20 EMA, but see when they all started to line up beautifully here, right? This is called perfect order, as I mentioned on the video part 1. 
So because of these two confirmations, one, the breakout of the recent high and two, the perfect order on this 5 minute chart, you place a buy and keep holding it for a reward. Now let me tell you why this can be a good trade. Not only by following the major trend in bigger time frames, when you execute the trade in lower time frames like 5 minute chart, the distance to the stop loss is going to be very tight. When you place a buy here, the initial stop loss is going to be here, right? Below the recent lowest in 5 minute chart. But when you think about the target, you can set it based on the daily because you are following the major bull trend in daily time frame. So the initial target can be based on the daily, whether if there is a recent high here or it can be until you see some price actions like pin bar or thrust down that might stop the bull trend in daily chart. In this case, the market kept going up until there is a pin bar appearing and until it reaches to the recent high. So that the, the, the risk to reward ratio on that trade is going to be very very good. And this is what I call the trading edge and this is exactly what I'm looking for every day. So again, if you're using moving average, first you get the market direction in a bigger time frame. I recommend to use mid to long term period like 75 or 200 because if it's a short term like 20, it reacts too quickly to the market and you cannot really capture the solid trend direction, like there will be a fakes. So I recommend you to show 75 MA, the mid-term period, like on the examples earlier, and look at the daily or weekly chart first, and check if the moving average is pointing up or down on that market. And when you find it's pointing up, then check the lower time frame chart, like 4 hour, or 1 hour chart and see if the moving average is also pointing the same direction. And you're gonna use the same period of time, like 75, and check if it's also pointing upwards. If not, then wait, right? Wait until it points upwards. And if it does, then go to the smaller time frame chart, like 15 minute chart or 5 minute chart, and sh show the short term mid-term and long-term moving averages and look for the confirmations to place buy along with the price actions and lines. And if you keep looking for the trading edges like this, then your overall result will have much better chance to be positive. And this is a very simple but very powerful strategy that you can apply from today. So if you don't understand, then watch the video over and over again. And if you still don't understand, just comment below. Just comment below so that I will answer to your questions. Or you can come to live every Tuesday and Friday and ask me questions there. Alright, and I will continue to talk about deeper and deeper in trading strategies by moving average. On the next one, on the part 4, I'll be talking about how you can visually spot the trading edge on the market. I will explain another effective way to find a trading edge by checking for the details on the angles of the moving average and also the movement of the candlesticks. So if you don't want to miss the next one, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified when I upload it on this Thursday. Alright, thank you for watching. If you like today's video, kindly give it a thumbs up and I wish all the best to your trades who are watching my videos supporting me on my channel. I wish you have a great trading days and stay gold. またね。